Here I will guide you through the basic programming of your device. You make changes to the emergency contacts and other functions or settings by sending simple SMS codes to the mobile number of the device via text message, just like sending a text message to a friend. You send a special text message to your device. The special programming codes are within the electronic manuals that were emailed to you when you purchased the device from Mercari. You will see in the manual that the device uses binary codes in its programming. One is for on and zero is for off. Do not include spaces in any text command. Messages are not case sensitive. With each command sent to the device, it will respond back to you with a confirmation that the programming or setting has been received. How to set your emergency contacts for calling and text messages. In this part of the tutorial, I will guide you on how to set your device to send a text message and make a call to your emergency contacts. You can have at least one or up to 10 nominated contacts on your list. You may also include emergency services if this suits your circumstances. However, note that not all emergency services have the ability to receive text messages. When you activate the device by pressing the SOS button, it will firstly send the text messages to all of your nominated contacts all at once. The device will then start calling your contacts one by one and in the order of priority you desire. It's best to have the most likely person that is going to answer the call as first on your list. When one of your contacts answers their phone, you'll be able to talk to them as the device will act like a speaker phone and you'll be able to advise what help you need or the nature of your emergency. The priority of your contacts are identified as 1 through 10, A1 being your highest priority and A10 being the lowest. To set your highest priority number, A1, you would send the following text message to the device. A1, comma 1, comma 1, comma phone number of your highest priority person. Remember to not have any gaps in the text message. The device will respond back to confirming set contact number 1 OK. To set the second priority number, you would send a 2, comma 1, comma 1, comma phone number of your second priority person. You carry on the sequence, A3, A4, A5, etc. until your emergency contacts are complete. By default, the device will try all your contact phone numbers once, at which point if no one answers, the device will wait for an incoming call which will answer automatically. During the period of time when the device is making outgoing calls to your contacts, it will be unable to answer any incoming calls, so for time-critical emergencies, we would recommend only setting the device to send text messages to your contacts, which I'll cover in the next tutorial. How to set the device to text message only. In this part of the tutorial, I will guide you on how to set your device to send a text message only. If your emergencies are anticipated as time critical, instead of waiting for the phone list to cycle until someone answers, it may be more appropriate for the device to only send text messages to all your contacts when the SOS has been pressed. After sending the text messages, it will wait for any incoming call, at which point it will answer automatically and the wearer will be able to talk on the speaker phone to the emergency contact without the need to press any buttons. In this modern age, more people tend to keep their phones close and are able to respond quite rapidly to SMS messages, so having sent a text message to up to 10 people, the very first person to be able to respond will be able to call the device unimpeded and render assistance in a more timely manner. The programming process is exactly the same as the previous guide. However, we simply change part of the binary code for calling to off. If we use the A1 example, you would send the SMS code as A1, comma 1, comma 0, comma phone number of your highest priority number. The zero in the code indicates that the calling function is disabled for that emergency contact. You would continue to program your priority list until complete. For panic alarm scenario where the device is being used to contact emergency services as priority, simply program your A1 priority number to your country's emergency services. 911 in North America, 999 in the United Kingdom, 112 for most of Europe, 000 in Australia or 111 in New Zealand. It would be recommended to have both SMS and calling functions enabled for emergency services. However, please note that not all countries or states are able to receive SMS messages for emergencies. For your remaining priority numbers, set the device to only send SMS to your contacts when the SOS is activated. In this scenario, when the SOS has been pressed, the device will send the SMS messages to everyone on the contact list. 
Then make a call directly to your emergency services dispatchers. When they answer, you'll be able to tell them the nature of your emergency. If you wanted to make a call from your device to one of your contacts in a non-emergency mode, the device has a side button that is programmed to call priority number two on your list by default. When pressed, the device will make a regular voice call to your A2 contact without entering any emergency modes. From time to time, you may wish to change or adjust the contact numbers on your list. You can always check what phone numbers, their priority and whether they call and send SMS, or just send SMS messages by sending the device a simple code. The code is A question mark. The device will respond back showing all the program numbers and their settings. To change any of the numbers A1 to A10, you can simply overwrite the existing contact number with a new one without having to redo the entire list. So for instance, you wanted to change the A5 number without changing the rest of your list. You would send an updated A5 code to the device and it will overwrite the existing number. If you wanted to remove any of the programmed numbers, let's use A6 as an example. You can send the code remove A6 to the device and it will delete that number while leaving the other numbers in their priority sequence. The device uses UTC time, so you will need to adjust your time zone for your locality so that your text messages show the correct time. The SMS code is TZ, plus or minus your time zone. For example, US Eastern time, you would enter TZ minus 5. Pacific time, you would enter TZ minus 8. London is TZ minus 1. Australian Eastern Standard Time is TZ plus 10. New Zealand is TZ plus 12. To give the device a name that will display on your contact's SMS messages, let's say you wanted to call it Mom's Alarm, you would send it the SMS code, prefix 1, Mom's Alarm. You can have gaps in the device name. For panic alarm use in a fixed location, such as a store or shop, we would suggest using the device's physical location as its name so emergency responders can quickly obtain an address if they have access to SMS. For better connectivity and data communications, you'll need to set your network APN. The APN code is set by your SIM card network provider and may be written on the SIM card packaging. We have a list of common APN codes listed within our Read First manual. However, these can change without notice, so best to check with your SIM card provider for these details. Once you have your APN, you send the following code, S1, then the APN name provided by your network provider. Lastly, unless you have purchased a Bluetooth charging base or beacons which are sold separately, you can turn off the device's Bluetooth as this will save battery. Send the code BLE0 and it will disable the Bluetooth transmissions. The automatic fall detection function is enabled by default and set to a medium sensitivity setting. So you may not need to make any changes until you have tested it for your unique circumstances. Now your device has its basic settings and is ready to use. For any other functions or settings, please consult your electronic manuals. For any troubleshooting, please visit the troubleshooting section at the back of the Read First electronic manual.